So what you want to do is get a better range of motion. His hand just fell off. <laughs> Not that much motion. Hey guys, so if you're struggling with shoulder pain and struggling to sleep, it's very common to not be able to get comfortable when you're having shoulder pain or neck pain, especially if you're like me and you cannot sleep on your back. I don't know why, but I cannot fall asleep on my back. I have to be on my side. And that doesn't help when you've got shoulder pain and you're laying on your side and everything's being pushed. It just compresses everything more and you simply can't find a way to feel better. So a few simple tips that help me when trying to sleep is loosening up my shoulder blade, the scapula, sorting out my neck problems and tight neck, neck muscles, tight rhomboids and tight traps. Now these in combination take quite a while to do. So I'm going to show you a few simple little tricks just to help you when you're trying to fall asleep and trying to get comfortable. Okay, so we're going to use Jeff here to help illustrate what the problem is. Now you might find that Everything is tight and pulling your shoulder blade up and pulling your shoulder joint up. So you might be a little bit lopsided, one shoulder sitting higher than the other. Check this in the mirror. Get someone to either take a photo of you or just look at yourself in the mirror if you can. And maybe just put a stick across and just see if one shoulder is sitting a little bit higher than the other. If it is, which more, more than likely it is, that's the side you need to concentrate on. So when you're laying down, you'll find that your trap might be extremely tight when you press it. If you grab your trap like that, I don't have muscles on Jeff here, but you can imagine your trap is sitting here. If you squeeze it, you'll feel a lot of little strands that feel like guitar strings. Now those strings, if you can squeeze and almost pull up, as you're squeezing, pull up, and you'll feel that those little guitar strings glide through your fingers. Now that is gonna shoot through the nerves and it might start making this muscle jump. Now that is a good thing because that means that you're getting blood flow and you're getting signals to be sent through these little nerves and loosen up the muscle. So try relax this while lying down as much as you can. Try drop your shoulders and squeeze the trap, feeling those tight guitar strings and just like gliding over and pulling up. And you're gonna feel that the more you relax it and the more you do this, the looser your muscle is gonna become. You might feel a twitching, and relax. This is neuromuscular re-education. This trains the traps, whatever muscle you're working on, but focusing on the traps now, this will train the traps and train your nervous system to relax more easily. So work on these, glide, it's almost like a nerve glide, but you're gliding the muscle and gliding your fingers over those tight guitar string like fibers just to loosen everything up. Once you've done that, this muscle should be a lot softer and you can take your finger and find the bone. You'll find that the top of your scapula is underneath the trap and when pushing it will feel like a weird bone sticking underneath the trap. So what you want to do while laying down, take one of your hands, you can take the opposite hand and just find under your trap here and push on the shoulder blade. You can use one or two fingers and just exhale and press and relax that muscle as much as you can. This just helps relax the trap more and it gets the scapula in a more downward position and helps it relax a lot further. So give this a try, do it on a regular basis, even if you're sitting at, at your desk at work, just do that nerve glide, try relax your traps in your shoulders as much as you can and you're going to feel huge improvements in your sleep and also in the relaxation of your muscles.